Hey Virgin Readers, Cody McKibben here from ThrillingHeroics.com. When my friend and mastermind partner Tom Hunt here asked me to contribute something about my experience with failure, that very morning uh, I was one that started off for me crying it face down in my pillow. <laughs> I've experienced a tremendous amount of failure over the years since I went into business for myself and have been trying to do lots of big things. And I think it's, my belief is it's a natural thing for anyone who is trying to, to live an extraordinary life, to chase big goals, to build a large business, to have any sort of impact on the world, uh, you're going to run into failure. You know, I've had plenty of business partnerships go very wrong. I've had ex-partners who've stole a lot of money from our businesses. I've had things that have threatened to really tarnish my reputation. I've had people like Ryan Holiday write to the whole world. Uh, publicly that I'm an idiot. I've made myself look like a fool more than once. I've upset my own biggest role model and mentor, uh, which is can feel pretty crushing. And I've lost plenty of money over the years on failed business ideas and projects gone wrong. So this time around, it was a, an entrepreneur retreat I've been working on for over three months, putting in a tremendous amount of time and energy, trying to orchestrate a lot of different people, manage a lot of different people's expectations, and bring together a group of really cool people for a really fun shared experience out here in Thailand. It's a tremendous amount of work. I've done this five times before, but every single time it's always a big, big task to to bring a bunch of different people uh, together, you know, with a shared purpose to change their schedules around an event like this, to come out and participate. Uh, for many people, it's a far trip to make, you know, to the other side of the world. And there's a lot of moving parts when you've got people involved for training and support and hotels and tours, all kinds of things. Unfortunately, along the way, you know, I felt like I had just about everything imaginable go wrong that could go wrong. And to be honest, honest with you, I finally got to a point where I just felt like I didn't have the energy, I didn't have the will to go on. Um, I had a number of cancellations. Finally, one thing happened that just felt like the straw that broke the camel's back. I felt like I didn't have the time and the energy and other resources to continue putting into this. And I felt like with other things going on in my personal life, that I had to cut my losses and, and put my focus and my energy into other more important things that really should be my priorities. I've got a two-year-old son. We have a very complicated immigration situation, unfortunately, and we've had some recent deaths in the family. My mother has a, a cancer diagnosis that's only getting worse. And really my number one desire uh, is to, to take my my son back home uh, and finally give him the opportunity to spend some much needed time with his grandmother while there's still time to do that. So I've got a lot of other stresses already weighing on me. I just decided that I didn't have the, the time and energy to continue to invest in this big project I've been working on for so long. But you see, it meant so much to me. My attitude had always been to just keep pushing, no matter what happens through any resistance, any adversity, just keep going, keep going, no matter what. So all of these problems and setbacks kept coming up and I just kept pushing forward, no matter what. Um, and so I had this refusal to give up. It was really hard for me to finally say, all right, you know, I feel like um, it's just the universe is against me maybe on this one and it's time to readjust my attention and my all important time and reevaluate, yeah, my prior priorities. So I decided to cancel the event. It was a big deal for me, a, a really big, it felt like a massive failure. I was so, disappointed in myself. I felt utterly crushed. I felt beaten. I felt like I'd given up on, on my big naive dream maybe of, of bringing an amazing group of people together for an amazing experience. And I felt like I was letting a lot of people down. I am letting a lot of people down, which is not something I like to do. I don't take that lightly. So I had one of the worst days I've had in a very long time. But I think in the end, the one big realization I took away from it is maybe just because I need to take a step back, I need to take a break, I need to reevaluate my priorities, and I need to make family come first, 
You know, sometimes you'll find extreme circumstances where you do. You need to cancel something. You need to give up on something. You need to change your approach on something because there's other more important things. You know, life is not just about our careers and our business, but it's about the people that you spend it with. It's about who you love and you got to do the right thing. So I think I made the right choice, but I also felt to an extent like I was giving up, quote unquote, on, on a big dream of mine. I told a few friends, you know, I felt like I'm um, letting the dark side win almost. But through all these failures, the main thing I've learned is failure is not final, okay? Just because you experience failure doesn't mean you are a failure. You can't let it get in your head like that and think that there's something wrong with you. You can't, you might need to take a step back, take a much needed break. You might need to readjust your strategy. You might need to reset your expectations or your thinking. But just because you might have to change something that you'd hoped would work out, or just because things don't pan out the way you ideally would have liked them to, you know, it doesn't mean you should give up on your big vision, your overall big goals and dreams, um, and your values. I'm still in the process of thinking how I can tweak what I'm doing, but I had a personal experience where, yeah, I almost, I took it personally and I felt just utterly defeated. But I realized that I can't, I can't fully give up in that sense. I have to keep, I do have to keep pushing forward in a sense. I might just need to change the strategy I'm using. You know, early on for, for my journey into entrepreneurship, uh, my friend Ramit Sethi from I Will Teach You To Be Rich, he actually told me one day how he keeps a failure folder on his desk. If he doesn't have a certain number of failures each month, then he knows he's not pushing hard enough. He knows he's not trying uh, to pursue bigger, big enough goals. So he actually instilled early on in me, thankfully nearly a decade ago, he gave me that lesson that failure is something that all successful entrepreneurs should seek to have in their life. You know, there's a quote from Michael Jordan where he says he's had 9,000 missed shots in his career. He's dropped the ball, literally, um, you know, failed uh, and let his team down on many, many, many occasions. But it's only because he's stuck with it time and again through failure and mistakes. And he's learned from those things and he doesn't let it slow him down, doesn't let it stop him. It's only because of his many failures that he's able to have success over the long term. I think anyone with big successes will, will tell you this. It's something you need to get comfortable with. If you want to live a big life, if you want to build a successful business, uh, it's something I think you need to come to expect more and more. I'm not the best at it myself. I still really struggle when I do have failures, but I'm becoming more and more comfortable with it. And I know that you just have to keep moving on with no loss of enthusiasm from one failure to the next. Just keep trying, find the next thing, like tweak your approach. All my most successful friends, you know, who've built gigantic businesses, many of whom have sold their startups for tens of millions of dollars, friends who have become New York Times best-selling authors, friends of mine who have won the Shopify Build a Business contest and gotten the opportunity to meet and spend some good time with Richard Branson, for example. The, the only thing that separates them is that they just carried on. They, ca they continued down the path. No matter what failure they experienced, no matter what hardships, they kept going. They didn't let it stop them. You will fail time and again. It's a necessity, actually, to learn what the world really needs, what people really want, and how they value what you can offer them. Take each failure not as final, but as an opportunity to learn, as a chance to improve your skills, your understanding. Failure is not final. You have to become comfortable with it. You have to expect it, and you have to try every way you can to use it creatively to lead to more success. You can catch it in the act, you know, as you're failing, as you're giving up on your ideas like I did yesterday, um, you can catch yourself and you can change direction, you can course correct, you can pivot, you can try something slightly different and maybe you'll find an alternate solution that'll get you at least somewhere close to where you originally wanted to go. That'll yield similar results. So think creatively and use your failures to, to push for more progress, more learning, more wisdom. Remember that it's just more experience and it'll help you figure out the right path in the future. Use your failures to push for future success. Realize that they're important. If you want to learn more, 
I will share a lot more in depth about this recent story about my major failure. It's embarrassing, but I figured why not? I'll share it with the world. Hopefully it'll benefit someone. Visit me at thrillingheroics.com slash failure and you can read the whole story. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you guys all the best. Stick with it. You'll get there. Just don't give up. <laughs>